Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're gonna figure out how to export or import overlay packs in Streamlabs OBS. Okay, so this is something that I'm starting to implement in my overlay packs over at gumroad.com slash level. One thing to note is that Streamlabs OBS already has a system to upload basically your overlay packs uh, to the cloud. That means that if you go on another computer and then you log in with the right login information, uh, you will always already have your overlay pack set for you. That being said, what if you want to switch? What if you want to reuse your overlay pack on another account, on another platform, or you want to give it to a friend? Maybe you're part of a team and you guys need to share the same overlays so here what i call an overlay pack is basically an assembly of all your scenes and sources okay it's basically a scene collection that means everything that is starting soon be right back camera overlays camera source i don't know game capture sources everything is included it's also really great for someone like me who basically sells and gives away free overlay packs that way you can just one click install them i haven't implemented on a lot of them only one of my packs actually has this option and it's the digital pack which you can download at gumroad.com but anyways let's take a look at streamlabs obs and how to do this so here we are in streamlabs obs and this is my uh, twitch setup pretty much with my overlays and stuff when you're going to export your overlay pack quote unquote it's not going to export all the profiles all the scene collections it's gonna export only one of them so if you want to know which uh, if you want to find the precise scene collection that you want to export, it's right there. It's on top of your scenes list and you can click on that little arrow and here you can see there's manage all. That's where you can like rename them and stuff like that and delete them. Or you can just click on them to, to load them up. As you can see, untitled is my mainstream. I have one for another account. I also have one for tutorials. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to import the digital overlay pack so i'm gonna click on the little cog wheel top right make sure i'm logged in with at least one channel i'm with i'm logged in with my twitch channel right now so i'm gonna click here and then i'm gonna go to scene collections and then i'm gonna click import overlay file oh wow i realize i don't have the digital dot overlay file it's kind of awkward because i made it myself but that's fine because we're gonna use one from uh, mortal kombat 11 they have this free overlay pack that it's that is available for everyone so we're gonna use that all i have to do is okay so right here in mk11 stream pack final as you can see here they have a dot overlay file so if you double click it it will import the scene collection Wait, this will take a couple uh, seconds and boom, there it is. As you can see, there's a whole list of new scenes and they tell you here you need to add uh, your game capture. Should I add like my display? Let's add our display capture uh, just to give you an example. It's not going to look great, but at least you can understand what's going on. So here we're going to add the display capture and this is supposed to we're going to pretend this is the game basically. And once you go to game scene basically it also comes with a transition so you can have your transition part of that dot overlay file you can see that everything is already set basically your widgets are already there with the name of like your stream labels and stuff like that even your donation goal is here i'm going to turn off the display capture just so you can see a little bit better but this is how easy you can install a full overlay pack. So as I said, this is something that I am trying to implement into my own overlay packs over at gumroad.com slash guy level. Uh, here I have a full screen camera. There's a break screen. So that's the be right back. You even have the social media panels integrated where all you have to do is double click the text. Uh, well, it's going to be in a separate scene, but all you will have to do is double click the text and then pretty much like put your own uh, social media. I did not make this pack. Once again, this is a free pack that is given by the folks over at uh, NetherRealm Studios. If you guys enjoy this pack, I will definitely put a link out there. I did not create this pack. I do make packs, but this is not me. Now, when it comes to the text system, this is not something that I'm that I'm going to utilize because the simple fact that I have a lot of viewers that don't use Streamlabs OBS, so I can't I can't count on the dot overlay file only. I have to make sure that my pack is also easy to install for people who are using uh, the Elgato software, that are using OBS Studio, that are using any other software other than Streamlabs OBS. But I will also include uh, the dot overlay pack from, from Streamlabs. Keep in mind that on my free overlay packs, I will most likely not include it because it's just not worth it for me. But on the packs that are 99 cents, $5, $10, uh, make sure you check out the description of all the 
the things so here when you go to download anything from my store at gumroad.com slash gal level you can see oh, you, you should always it's crazy that i have to say that but you should always read the description before buying anything online okay but you will see that in the description i really make a list of everything that is included in the pack i have so many people that download a pack and then ask me for stuff that is not included in the pack but they would know that if they read the description okay so here it says how that there's an overlay a dot overlay file and how to import it basically i also usually give out the font that i use in an overlay in order for you guys to customize it if you have photoshop and stuff like that as well as my social media and usually a link to a guide on how to install it i believe that's all there is to how to export or import uh dot overlay files for streamlabs obs as you can see it's really simple it really kind of revolutionizes the whole uh getting overlay packs and stuff because with one click literally you can just have a whole new setup and everything is there especially when it comes to the stream labels because those are a pain to add when you're doing it from scratch so anyways i think i plugged my gumroad page enough this video but it's gumroad.com slash get level <laughs> anyway social media will be up there make sure you check them out i post a lot of things about giving uh twitch streamers advice but also general thing i work on diy stuff if you would like to know what type of gear i am using from the lights to the camera to the audio system i have a bunch of amazon links in the description so check those out you can join my discord follow me on twitter and if you haven't started using Using Streamlabs OBS yet? Well, I urge you to do so. I will have an affiliate link in the description. It's completely free. But if you download it from my link, I'm getting a couple of cents, and Charity is also getting a percentage of that. So please, please do consider it. But that was it for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for listening and watching. I will see you guys later. Go out there, make me proud. Get level out.